Hello and welcome back here on my English YouTube channel once again to an update on the old city in our yeah bigger bigger getting project and last time we added the Hocus Pocus set into our old city you can see it on the left side of the screen and today's update we are going to finish the outer part of our big timber framed house it's a big project a lot of bricks are going to be placed inside that stuff so stay tuned for today's big update Here you can see our timber framed house here next to the city vault and the city walls are well, some parts of them are crumbled. That's mainly because on the other side of the table, we have a better view inside the old city. And today we want to finish the outer part of that building. And that's the status we had last time we worked at the timber framed house. And now just one cut uh, after that, I finished that floor from the outside, of course. And I really like how it looks when you look over the old city wall here inside and see that part of the building. Of course, it's not finished. Inside, there's absolutely nothing. I also not included the stairs that time, but I added these parts here once again. But some are missing, but I thought I ordered enough of them. I can't find them at the moment. Maybe I'll find them later, but that's not a big problem. I can add them later in a future update. But we have finished the second floor or the third floor, if you want to call, count the, yeah, the basement. And now we're adding the main part above it, the part where the, um, roof will be located. And it will be two, yeah, um, yeah, floors inside that roof part. And I just added that at the front. It looks a little bit strange because you have that white frame outside here of all these, um, um, bricks with, um, I, I just can't remember the English word at the moment. They are, um, I don't know, but you can see I added the same part on the other side. Of course, there are no windows and I started to work out that part here of the roof itself. It's just connected here with two hinges only on the top here to hold everything in place, but we have some plates on both sides of the wall. So it's very yeah, it's like a little bit integrated here. And as you can see here, I also added some more plates in reddish brown here outside. So you can't see that white part with these uh, slopes. That's the word I'm, I'm was missing. And yeah, I think it looks quite nice. It looks like a timber framed house. And now we have to close the whole part here. It's a very big house. So we need a lot of parts to close that. But I think it's not too big. There are bigger houses in that building has not to be built in medieval times it can be or could be built later inside the building uh, inside the city so i think it's not too big and you can see how i started working the outer parts of the roof and i also decided to use uh, dark bluish gray tiles and at the moment i just want to tile everything without any additional details because i'm not sure if i want to have a look like i have it on the hocus pocus set here on the right side i want a more modern look a more renovated look but maybe we are going to change some of that stuff in future updates but for now and for today i just want to have a very clean look at that roof it's also a big project it's still a big project i have to use a lot of stuff in today's update and I really want to close that roof part in today's update. So just adding more plates, more tiles. And then I think we have a fully done outer side of that building. Also integrated the chimney, as you can see it here. And I really like how it looks here on that side. On the left side, there's still missing some, but you can see on that side how the final look of that building will be. And I really like also the look here from the street level up. And yeah, I really, really like that. I hope you like it too, but we're not finished for today's update. As I said, we want to completely finish the outer part of the building. So I had to work on the other side um, also. I uh, also added that little part here with that bird on top of it. If the auto focus is working, you will see it better. And I'm really, really satisfied with how that building came out. Some people on the German channel have the problem and think that it is too big, but at the moment I'm not, 
I'm not sure if it's too big. As I said, there are going to be much more buildings later on in the old city. I'm also going to add more table behind it, adding more buildings. And the city will go step by step up so we can see from the front side better inside the city. I think it will not look so big later, but maybe we are going to add another level to the watchtower on the right side that... Um, you can see next to the beach area. Also, as you can see here, I added here some steps up because, as I said, the city is going up slowly, slowly. And we also want to add it here. So I added some parts here and then we can add some more parts uh, to integrate really that not 90 degree angle of placed building. And that's it. From that side, it's a little bit ugly, as you can see down under here but as i said there's going to be another table here then you are not will not be able to see all of that stuff but for today i just want to add some more stuff here adding a little bit more of the pass area here on the left side of the building and that's it as you can see i added some new minifigures i got them from uh, the lego store here in nuremberg not far away from here also added that girl here another Light post, as you can see it here, and these are just some random guys and girls that are walking around here in the rows. There are medieval clothes, as I said, there's a medieval slash fantasy festival here in the city. And that's, of course, a very good idea. So I can integrate a lot of these middle evil stuff into the city, even if it is a modern city. As I said, the building is finished from the outside. I'm not quite sure what to do with the roof itself. So if you have any ideas, you can write them in the comments below. And just for now, just for today, the building is finished from the outside. Just missing some lighting inside. But that's something for a future update. But I think I have, well, we have a very big, better view now from that area right now. Just missing the playground. I have to do it very soon. And if you're going on the other side of the table, we have a few we have never had before. And the building standing here in the back side, it makes it something special. I think it looks much more like an old city now when you look here from that area here down to the old city here behind the crumbled walls. And we're also going to have a look at it in the night. And that's how it looks in the night at the moment. As I said, just have to work a little bit more here in the background. As you can see, I'm standing right in the river. And yeah, that's how our little old city area looks right now at the moment. As I said, missing some lighting inside the upper floors of the new building. But I'm very satisfied with how it looks right now. And I hope you like it too. So write it in the comments what you think about today's update. I'm very, very happy, as I said, and in just some few future updates, we're going to work the last parts here on this old city on that table. Coming more stuff when we're going to add some more tables, but that's in a future update, as I said. But that's it for now. Just some final impressions, and that's it for today. Bye!